I welcome Srija Mathu Didi. Uh, Dr. Srija Mathu Didi, she is a professor in computer science and engineering, and uh, she is an HOD of LD in the Godavari Institute of Engineering and Technology, Rajamundri, Andhra Pradesh. She attended introductory UHV FDP in September 2020 and refresher one part one in April 2022, and further refresher one part two in June 2022. And she has been volunteering in the PPA calling as well as she is a member of uh, this video editing. She is a, an active member of this uh, morning sessions. Uh, she has been asking many questions and I could get an opportunity to interact with her uh, during the offline FTP at her college. With this brief introduction, I welcome Srija Didi to give her sharing in this morning session. Srija Didi, over to you. Thank you, Bhaiya. Uh, am I audible? Yes, Didi, loud and clear. Please go ahead. Okay, thank you. Namaste Sharmila Didi, Kumar Bhaiya, Sunil Bhaiya, and all the other co-explorers. As Bhaiya introduced, I'll also give some uh, part of my introduction. I am Srija Madhu, working as professor in L&D department at Gait Rajmandri. Uh, we, have a, uh, we are a small family of four. I, my husband, and two kids. Both of them are boys. Elder one is pursuing BTEC final year in cybersecurity and the younger one is in 12th standard. Basically, I belong to Kerala, but my birthplace is Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. My parents and in-laws, they reside in Bhopal. Uh, my mother, I would like to mention, is into uh, spirituality and she runs a satsang group since uh, last 35 years. So I too have the same sanskar from my childhood. But uh, I found a gap. Though I had spiritual values with me, but I found it difficult to take them to my students. Children will not accept spirituality very easily. That's what I found. Though I used to tell them a few values in class whenever it was possible, Though my class used to be technical, I used to teach Java, Python, etc. But whenever I found some problems in values from their side, then I used to uh, say a few things to them, uh, explaining the things to them. Um, but that was not a continuous thing and I couldn't do it regularly because that was not my class as such. So I used to feel sad seeing lack of values and the conduct of students, basically. When I was at such crossroad, I attended the UHV introductory workshop in September 2020. After attending this workshop, I felt very happy. I felt as if I got something which I had lost. Um, I never felt so happy after attending any other workshop before. I used to attend many technical workshops, but none of them gave such kind of happiness. But this is, this is what the difference I felt after attending the first workshop itself. So it was like a real ray of hope for me. I thought that UHV can do something good for my students. And also I can do some participation in society too. So this was my takeaway from my first workshop that I attended. I am very thankful to AICT for introducing a UHV course in the curriculum. I gave my name for volunteering activities, but I didn't do anything at that time. Last year in 2022 April, I did refresher part one and in June, I did refresher part two also. In March 2023, I received a message uh, from Ishrit Didi uh, about regarding this UHV three. So immediately I started attending the Hindi session. Then one day Kumar Bhaiya called and asked about volunteering, which also I readily accepted. After that, I st started doing some volunteering activities also. And in June, we had a three-day face-to-face workshop in my college where Sunil Bhaiya, Geeta Didi and Chandrasekhar Bhaiya uh, were the resource persons. I attended that and got more clarity about the UHV content. Before all the workshops I attended online, this was the only workshop which I could attend face-to-face. -face. 
so i was very happy after doing this workshop also so this is all about my uhp journey till date next coming to the shift in understanding that i have got first about human being earlier i considered myself just as a body though i heard about soul that it takes up one body and after death soul takes a different body these things i heard in spirituality but uh, seeing the uh, self and body as coexistence and one as material unit other as the consciousness unit all these things i came to know from uhv only after listening to content in uhv1 i started observing self and body as two realities and about their coexistence which i never thought about before self uses body as an instrument now i am observing these things and getting a feeling like i was sleeping and now i am getting awakened that kind of feeling has started coming so this is about human being a small uh, shift which i can see not a small one i think it's a big one uh, coming to nature the shift that i can see is earlier i used to consider nature consisting of plants animals mountains rivers etc but after uhv i am able to see that i am also part of this nature i also belong to one of the orders the coexistence in the four orders and how they are self organized only disturbing factor is the human order i feel early morning if we look at nature so peaceful it will be until all the vehicles start moving i like to see greenery so i try to keep a lot of indoor as well as outdoor plants but one thing surprises me is that we have self in us but we are not self organized other orders don't have self but they are well organized so this is something i feel ki why it is so why human order is not well organized now coming to existence earlier whole existence what i thought was it is a creation and creator is god i consist uh, i thought this was the notion of existence which i had before but after uhv i am now understanding that existence is something that already exists coexistence is the essence of existence and i am also part of this existence and i coexist with all other units in space so this is what i have started observing now coming to the human conduct earlier i thought that human conduct is sanskar based and every human being has their own sanskar and it cannot be changed but now i am able to see that human conduct can be made definite through right understanding and a human can reach the ultimate goal or can achieve the purpose of human life by this right understanding and right feeling and maybe the explorations that we are doing the self exploration is going to help us in doing this so these are the shifts that i have seen in myself uh, regarding human being nature existence and human conduct now coming to exercise 1 in exercise 1 seeing the self through self observing the imagination the feelings the desire thought and expectations the part of my feeling and checking whether the feeling is naturally acceptable or not i am able to check that the feeling whether my the feeling is giving me comfort harmony and happiness or not uh, what i am able to observe here is if step 2 that is the feeling of uh, feeling is naturally acceptable or not if i am able to check and if it is naturally acceptable then the that feeling surely gives me comfort and harmony and happiness also but if the feeling is not naturally acceptable all these things get disturbed i'll not be able i'll not be in comfort my harmony gets disturbed 
and ultimately it is not going to give me happiness also other thing which i am able to see in exercise 1 is self is deciding it is the decision maker i am able to see this self decide some things sometimes based on assumptions and sometimes based on right understanding but it is not same all the time sometimes the decisions are based on assumption is taking place i think this happens when i don't have clarity but when i have clarity then the decision is based on right understanding so this thing also i am able to see here feeling of relationship will only ensure happiness harmony and coexistence though this i am able to ensure through this i am able to ensure mutual happiness at times on the on the other hand when uh, the feeling of contradiction comes the f- first thing that happens is my harmony gets disturbed and it results in unhappiness in me and same thing i transfer to the others also one example i would like to say is whenever what i have noticed is uh, when i am getting angry with someone my harmony gets disturbed and the person also receiving the sensation from me feels the discomfort and ultimately we both become unhappy so this this thing i have observed i have checked for myself then but the most challenging thing which i felt in exercise 1 is ensuring the continuity of this feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence at every moment i am able to ensure this at times but not always i am working on it what i observe is if feeling of relationship is ensured then harmony and coexistence automatically follows i am able to observe this but i feel it is very difficult to implement and bring into practice it needs myself to be a lot of attentive all the time if i don't pay attention i am not able to manage these things in continuity now coming to exercise 2 seeing the body through self i am able to observe self and body as two realities but i am able to observe this when i am keenly observing it only i am able to see otherwise when i am busy in my activities i feel i forget everything and uh, i don't differentiate between self and body and i just keep working as a single unit self is giving instruction in reading sensations from the body this also i am able to see i, w- I would like to give an example here uh, if suppose i want to eat something then my eyes see the item on a table it sends a sensation to myself self reads the sensation and instructs my hand to pick it up as soon as hand picks it self again gives instruction to hand to put it into mouth so here i am able to see the interaction between self and body but all these things happen so spontaneously if we don't observe it keenly we will not be able to see uh, all these uh, actions by self and body coordination will be so good uh, we will not be able to observe the difference uh, self and body works as a single unit but when we observe it self and body separately at that time only we can see this difference we can see that all decisions are coming from self so decision maker is self i am able to understand this also i am a distance from sensation and i am reading the sensations interactions between me and others is through sensation and i am giving meanings to all the sensations if somebody interacts with me the person is coming in which mood seeing the face of the person and the way the person talks to me i am have i make some assumptions sometimes the assumptions may be true sometimes may be false 
so there is no um, definiteness in the conduct at that time but when uh, i have the right understanding at that time there will be response from my side and with assumptions when i go most of the times i am reacting this is what i observe from myself reaction comes very spontaneously and response needs a lot of thought process and i should be cool and calm in cool and calm state of mind if i want to respond but response i don't know why it happens with me or it happens with others also i don't know but for me the thing is i'll be respond uh, re reacting sp uh, spontaneously and if i need to respond means i should be in a calm state of mind so this thing i have observed for myself a difference is there in the uh, actions that we perform so i am in coexistence with space i'm not able to see this much at present i take space like a wireless network with all units connected with each other like devices on network all our mobile phones and devices are connected through wireless network but we are not able to see the wireless network so same way i see the space also so this is the notion of uh, space at present that i have for understanding space i think i need to work a lot upon it understanding myself also i need to work so these are the shifts in uh, different areas which i have seen and the exercise 1 and 2 which i could see for myself coming to the shift in last four months that i could see in me firstly i would like to thank kumar bhaiya and uhv team for helping me to start my day in a holistic way this is the best part which i like uh, ki i am starting every day in a holistic way before uhv i used to listen to bhajans Uh, i used to play bhajan and i used to work in kitchen i used to listen to them but now i listen to kumar bhaiya so <laughs> that is the change which has come uh, in the last four months uh, i am although i am giving my presentation sharing in english but i used to listen hindi i am comfortable with both and i am not able to get up early sorry sharmila didi that's why i am not attending the english uh, english uh, session i but attending kumar bhaiya's hindi session also i am not sitting and attending i'll keep working and uh, my speaker will be on and i'll be listening to the content delivered by kumar bhaiya second thing uh, what i am able to see a shift in myself is i am doing self exploration which i didn't do before i'm checking my feelings when i react why do i react i'm checking i'm reacting i'm uh, telling the, this frankly ki i react a lot and uh, uh, i have a little bit lack of patience also so whenever i see some situations i uh, immediately react so but i am now uh, reaction is there now also but i am trying to find out ki what is the reason behind my reaction and most of the time what i found is it is due to expectations from others i expect a lot and if they don't come up to my expectation the, rea the reaction comes spontaneously an example i want to uh, share here recently last week um, i am head of lnd department so i am taking care of all the training activities in my college and uh, we had scheduled a training for 1200 students so it was a big task for me to arrange uh, the different locations i have made all the arrangements in six different locations 200 200 each like that i have made the arrangements and uh, every day it used to be a big task for me uh, starting at the in the morning uh, some or the other issues will be there uh, sometime uh, more number of students will come chairs may not be available projector may not work batteries will be over in my or mic may not work many such issues used to be there so morning used to be a very hectic uh, thing for me managing all those things one day what happened is uh, i started from home and i was on phone continuously on co call listening to dis different issues and i was uh, trying to solve them also through different phone calls to others 
so, like this, I reach college. And when I reach college, one of my faculty members, I was on phone at that time solving some issue for somebody. And one of my faculty came with one student, some students. And she said, those students want to go to another location. I have assigned one location to them. They wanted to change the location. So on phone, I was listening to one thing and she also said another thing. Immediately, the th uh, what I did is it was a reaction. I said, can't you manage this much on your own? Immediately, as soon as I said, I could understand ki what I said was not right. But what was the thing what both of them did, my faculty and the one on phone? Uh, person on phone said, okay, okay, madam, I'll manage on my own. And my faculty who was standing in front of me, she also said, okay, madam, okay, madam, you uh, continue with your work. So both of them went away. But I felt very bad uh, the way I reacted. Um, but the thing was, I was born, bombarded with a lot of complaints, which was beyond the level of my management. Uh, later on, I talked to my faculty. I said, sorry, um, I said these things to you. But she responded in a very um, nice way. She said, no, ma'am, I know you were uh, uh, having so many issues to tackle at that time. That's why you uh, reacted like that. So I found ki she has better understanding than what I have. So such situations will be there where I feel ki I'll be reacting, but I'm working on it. I want to uh, come out of it. So I'm trying for that. And now the next thing which I could see in myself is uh, I wanted others to change, but now I'm not doing that and I'm working on myself. I'm trying to make some program in such a way that I can ensure mutual happiness. I should be happy and other also should be happy. I can't say that I'm able to do this 100% or I'm 100% successful, but I'm able to work on it. And at many places I have tried it and sometimes it works. So I think I should work more on it. Next thing which I can see a shift in myself in the last four months is self-regulation, uh, which I have understood from UHV. I'm paying more attention towards health, exercise, intake, etc. I'm taking care of my body also. Other thing which I liked in UHV content is about prosperity, which I'm uh, trying to follow, how much we need and how accumulation can lead to exploitation or deprivation of others. I never liked wastage of water, electricity, etc. before also. But when I found somebody wasting these things, I used to react. But now I'm trying that I should uh, not react as the reaction is disturbing my harmony and it is disturbing harmony for others also. So I'm making some program to tackle this issue also. And recently, uh, I think I'm taking more time. I'll sum up fast. Recently, I asked my husband whether you can see a shift in me. Then he said, no, there is no shift in you. Um, but one official uh, in last week, he called me in college and when I picked the fo phone and I said, hi, sir, how are you? Uh, what can I do for you? Immediately he said, ma'am, uh, you make us so comfortable when we talk to you. How is this possible in this hectic schedule? Then I simply said, sir, this is UHV effect. And uh, he started laughing. I felt happy and he also became happy. So this is the shift which uh, I could see in myself in the last four months. Now coming to the volunteering activities, um, I have, I'm presently doing PPI calling and video editing. And uh, I have never checked as how much time I'm spending for UHV. But what I feel is whatever I'm doing in UHV is for my self-development. So I don't, I don't uh, measure it using time or anything else. So whatever time is possible, I'm spending. Whenever it is possible, I'm doing video editing and PPI calling also. Anupam Bhaiya will be giving some sheet and whichever time is free for me, I'm putting those slots and I'm doing the work. Lastly, I extend my sincere gratitude my, to my UHV guru, Bhaiya, Kumar Bhaiya, Sharmila Didi, Sunil Bhaiya, 
and all co-explorers, as I'm learning a lot, I'm learning how to leave from you all every day. So thanks to everyone. And I think we have all have some common sanskar, which is uh, binding us all together here. So thanks for this uh, self-exploration and co-exploration, we can say. Thanks to one and all to give for giving a patient hearing. Thank you. Thank you, Sri for this uh, nice exemplified sharing. Um, thank you so much. So because of limitation of time, I'll straight away go into uh, Shamla Didi for her comments and remarks. If your hands are raised, we will take the questions if time permits. Shamla Didi, over to you for the comments and remarks on Sri Jaji's sharing. Ji, namaste, Sri Jaji. Namaste, Didi. Very nice to hear your sharing today. I Thank believe you. I've had the opportunity to meet you, but um, uh, we got to know about you through your sharing. And this is how I think uh, when we share, we get to know each other better. So it is nice that you shared today. And I can see that you're working on yourself. Like you mentioned, perhaps you know, some, some scars we have that you have from before through your parents, through your mother. Yes, um, Didi. They are helping you in this journey now. But of course, it's a long journey, so it will take time. You are able to see that your own feeling, um, how it is helping you to be in harmony or in disharmony. To be able to notice that, that itself is a very big shift, I think. So the fact that you are able to notice this, the fact that you are able to um, see that this is my own doing, that is a big and important step. But of course, the continuity of that, ensuring that will take time. Our assumptions you know, our sanskars also get in the way of that, like our assumption that this happens spontaneously. Yes, and the response is difficult. <laughs> yes, yes. Actually, it is the other way around. But yeah. uh, because of our some strong sanskars that drive our feeling, it seems to be happening very spontaneously. Yes, Didi, this is one issue with me. Why reaction comes so spontaneously and <laughs> response means we have to think so much. We have to understand the other person. We should see our feelings. After yeah. that, only we need, can decide how we have to respond. Yeah, as we keep observing and seeing, you will find that it is much simpler and easier to respond. And, okay. uh, uh, you know, as we start working on ourselves, deeper and seeing our sanskars more and so it will happen it will happen in time um all the very best view i would say you know even this is an assumption that i cannot get up in the morning so perhaps you can try. <laughs> <laughs> go to sleep okay, didi. surely didi i'll try i'll try to do this um, Thank but you, didi. listening to one uh, part that is also very good yes didi. Um, we encourage everybody to listen to both if yes. they can. Yes. Uh, sure, Didi. I'll try, Didi. In the next... Different sharings, different... Con little. I mean, content is same, but a lot of sharings, a lot of um, interaction, discussion that helps us all. So, uh, of course, uh, we'll expect you to be there for the next round of the sure, exercises. Didi. Didi. And possible, I would request you to perhaps increase your participation where the content is concerned. So like maybe FAQs or some other thing where you are more involved with the content that will help you to explore deeper also. So, okay. or maybe translation, transcription work, whatever. Sure, Didi. All the very best to you. Thank best you, Didi. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Didi, for this remarks, helping all of us for sure. Thank you, uh, Srija Didi, uh, 